Hey everyone, today we're looking at what I believe is the very best plug-in reverbs that have ever been made, so let's get into it. In 2023, we have so many great options when it comes to reverb plugins, but today I'm going to share with you which reverb plugins I believe are the very best ones that we have right now as of 2023. And this is not a sponsored video, I'm just basing my choices off of my experience in audio for the last 20 years, the ones that I believe sound the best and get used the most. first plugin I want to talk to you about today is Valhalla Room. Now I remember the first time I heard Valhalla Room and this is probably one of the oldest plugins of the ones that I'm going to mention today. And this is the reverb plugin that actually caused me to decide to go away from hardware and to commit to in the box reverb plugins. This reverb just sounds so great. I love it on vocals. I still use it all the time. And it can do some really awesome, spacey, kind of otherworldly sounds if you just crank up the decay. So my, my two main uses for it are vocals, but also if I just want a really long decay, um, I love using Valhalla Room. So let me show you a couple examples. First, let me play this vocal dry, and then I'll pop in Valhalla Room. Pulled like a magnet I've been pulled into your world Pulled like a magnet I've been pulled into your world Every thought I held captive Captivated till I'm yours Just has a beautiful and lush sound when it comes to vocals. Next, I want to show you what it sounds like when you really crank up the decay because you can get some really beautiful modulated tails with this reverb. So here's a guitar lead riff with the decay turned up to 20 seconds. Just a beautiful reverb tail. And this is actually one of my favorite presets inside the plugin called Blade Runner. So I absolutely love Valhalla Room. I've used it so much over the last 10 years and probably my favorite uses for it would be vocals and also if I'm going for more of like a spacey effect where you really wanna crank up the decay. Next on the list is Baby Audio's Crystalline. Now this is a fantastic reverb and this is one of the new kids on the block. This just came out a few months ago. And if you were only to buy one of these reverbs in my list today, this is the one that I would actually recommend because it's so versatile. It can do so many things well. It sounds great on vocals. You can get it to sound great on a snare drum. You can get it to do that big spacey thing like Valhalla Room. It just does so much and you have so many options in how you can shape the sound on this front panel. So if you want to dive deeper into this, check out my full video on it and I really dive deep into the settings. But this is a fantastic overall reverb. And also if you do end up buying Crystalline, check out the link in the description. I do have an affiliate link for that and I have a 10% discount. If you use the link with the included code, you can get a 10% discount on this one. So first I want to show you this on vocals. So first the dry signal. Crystalline. Alleluia. Alleluia. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Just beautiful. Added so much weight to those vocals. Next, I want to show you it on a synth arpeggio. And this shows you how it can do not only what we just heard, which is a really nice vocal reverb, but this shows you how it can do a more spacey kind of way out sound. First try. Now with Crystalline. So 
So Baby Audio has been cranking out some great stuff, and Crystalline is no exception. This is a fantastic reverb. You got tons of presets in here that you can use, and this reverb is just, again, so versatile. You can pretty much do anything with this reverb. Next, I want to show you Seventh Heaven by Liquid Sonics. Now, this reverb is the only convolution reverb in the list, and this is a remake of the Bracasti M7 hardware unit. Now, the Bracasti M7 is one of the most sought-after hardware reverb units units. And Liquid Sonics did a great job in emulating the Bracasti M7. And again, this is a convolution reverb, so it does emulate real spaces. And in my opinion, it does an amazing job of this. Now, I know so many engineers that absolutely love this plugin, and it's an absolute go-to for simulating realistic cinematic spaces. But it's certainly not limited to that. Let me show you what it sounds like in a vocal. So first try. Pull like a magnet. I've been pulled into your world Pulled like a magnet I've been pulled into your world Every thought I held captive Captivated till I'm yours now the decay time there was set at about 1.1 seconds and it gave us that beautiful just close room sound. But let's see what happens when we turn the decay time up a little. Let's go up to about two and a half seconds. Pulled like a magnet I've been pulled into your world Every thought I held captive Captivated till I'm yours so one of the things that's nice about the Seventh Heaven reverb is it's a convolution reverb, but it has the flexibility of an algorithmic reverb because a lot of convolution reverbs you really can't do much with, but there's so many things that you can do to change the controls. You have this advanced controls right here, and you have so many more things that you can do to shape the sound. Next, I want to show you what this can do with a full orchestra. So I have an orchestral piece that I've written, and what I did was I took all of the reverb off of it. So first I'm going to play it dry, and then I'm going to put it inside of of one of the spaces inside of Seventh Heaven so you could hear what it sounds like. So here's first try. Now with Seventh Heaven, and this is a preset inside of the Halls folder called Saint Sylvian. I love the sound of that. It's my new favorite convolution reverb. It just puts you in that space. And I had a lot of fun just going through the different halls and some of the different cathedral sounds. They just all sound good and uniquely different. Now, when this next plugin came out, I was so excited. This is the Strymon Big Sky plugin. Now, if you're not familiar with Strymon, they make guitar pedals. And actually, the Strymon Big Sky amongst guitar players is the reverb pedal that you want to have. It's very expensive. It's about $350. But but of all the thousands of options that you have as a guitarist with reverb plugins, this is one of the top, if not the top, reverb plugin. But if you think it just does amazing stuff with guitar, you would be mistaken. I tried this on vocals, and I tried this on some other sources, and it sounds amazing. It held water right alongside of these other reverbs. But I'm going to show you a couple examples of what this plugin can do. Now, this plugin does things that no other plugin on this list today can do. And if you just look at the controls here, you can see it does the basic sounds that you would expect from a reverb. You have room, you have hall here, you have a plate sound, a spring sound, and these all sound fantastic. But here's where 
where you get into some more creative effects that kind of differentiate this plugin from the others. You have a swell sound, bloom, cloud, and here's where it really gets fun with cloud, corral, and shimmer, which these utilize different effects that give you some really way out spacey effects. And I'm going to demonstrate shimmer here in a second, which utilizes pitch shifting. It has a really amazing sound. I know guitarists love this, but now it's so cool that we can use this as a plugin and we can put it on anything. So here's a little guitar riff and I'll play it first dry and then I'll pop in the Blue Sky plugin with the shimmer effect. Now with Blue Sky. Let me also show you the cloud effect. So I love those effects, especially the shimmer. Now you can throw the shimmer on anything and I particularly have been using it on keys and on strings and you can just dial it in just perfectly to add this overall like ethereal shimmer. So I'm super psyched about this plugin. I'm so happy that Strymon finally decided to make a plugin of this amazing guitar pedal. Next, I wanna show you the Big Sky on keys. So first dry. Now with the big sky. Lastly, I want to show you the big sky on a guitar lead riff. So first here's the lead riff dry. Now with the big sky set to the room setting. Next, we have Liquid Sonic's Cinematic Rooms. Now, many people call this reverb the best reverb ever made. I've heard a lot of people call it the most musical reverb ever. It is an absolutely fantastic reverb. There are a ton of controls in here. This is for someone who really likes to tweak it because there's so much that you can tweak inside of this reverb. But also, if you're not a big fan of, of just getting in under the hood and really messing around, you don't really need to. Uh, they have so many fantastic presets in here. Now this is an algorithmic reverb and this is really loved in the cinematic world. Most of the people I know in the cinematic world are using this and swear by it and most of them are absolutely in love with this reverb. Now on top of doing stereo reverb, this also does every type of surround sound that you can imagine. It is a powerful reverb and sounds really great. So let's jump into what it sounds like. First I'm going to show you on piano and first here's the piano dry. Now with cinematic rooms. just added so much dimension and weight to that piano. I have to say that I think this is my absolute favorite reverb for piano. 
Since Cinematic Rooms is so loved amongst composers, I really wanted to show you what this sounds like on strings. So first, here's the strings dry. Now with Cinematic Rooms. Let me do one more pass and I'm going to pop it in and out and listen to how much more space and weight gets added to these strings. So first bypassed. So gorgeous. Last on the list today is the Eventide Black Hole. Now just as much as the Cinematic Rooms is loved amongst composers, this plugin is so loved amongst electronic producers and EDM producers, but certainly it's not limited to that type of music. In fact, I use it in cinematic music a lot. This is a special reverb. This is not a traditional sounding reverb. This does really huge, larger than life, spacey modulated tails, and it sounds really great. And you could really use it in any genre, um, especially if you're a little more adventurous and you want something that's more of a bigger, larger than life sound. So let me show you what this sounds like on keys. First, the keys dry. Now with Black Hole. So you can just hear that beautiful modulation and it absolutely transformed that sound. And also I just wanted to show you what this sounds like on vocals. So first try. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now with Black Hole. There you have it, such an awesome, beautiful reverb, and I use it on so many things. Thank you so much for watching this video today, and if you got some value out of this video, would you hit that like button? Also, subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this type of content. Feel free to make yourself a coffee and watch some of my other videos. YouTube recommends this video for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.